Hello again, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, and as I said in the previous movie, this will be about the user slash yeah the user roles and how we can use this on our website to limit what users can do so that they don't go in and change a lot of values and maybe destroy or make sure make sure that our site doesn't work as it's supposed to. So we'll just go into Embraco a minute. And as you can see right now we're just working with what we had before. Um, so yeah, that's the news section, stuff like that. So yeah, uh, let's go into users a minute. Right now I'm logged in as myself, but let's say I have, uh, I'm, I've got my own little bureau or something like that, and I get an employee, and uh, he's going to be managing all my columns or articles, or let's say you have a friend who has a little blog, and uh, this is a great, uh, is a great tool for managing and doing all that. Because not only can you use Umbraco's content tree here to manage it all, you could even create your own MVC um, controllers and models and stuff like that, and interact with the Umbraco API, and then save nodes under node uh, under other nodes. So it's a double way like that. You can also pull out inf uh, information with MVC and uh, a custom controller. But we'll be looking at that in uh, later movies because that's uh, kind of advanced stuff. But anyway, if you go to users, I'll create a new user. Actually, before we do it, let's just have a look at me, for example. Um, you can see my name, Casper Anderson. My username, Casper6060. I have the ability to change my password. If I don't, it'll just stay what it is right now, which is 1234. My email, and my user type. This is the, uh, the good one. I am an administrator at the moment, which I should be, because I am the... Uh, the only user in here, so of course I need to be an administrator. Uh, this is English for my language. If I changed it to Danish and saved, then you'd see um, if I reload the page a minute that everything changes to Danish. So if you are, so of course anyone who starts working for you, I'll put that back to UK, can of course have uh, Umbraco in his or her language unless they don't, unless their language is not among this list. And if it is, then perhaps you should think about uh, going here uh, to Embraco and uh, translating most of the stuff. That would be a good idea. Anyway, let's uh, save it, if I didn't already, and reload so we get everything back in English. Um, yeah, and uh, here all the section stuff like that, but uh, we'll cover that as we create a new user. So we'll create a new user. The login name will be uh, Tester. For example, right now it will be test at tester.com just for fun. And, okay, so his name is Test... Tester? Chuck Tester. Username is Tester, and password will be 1234, 1234. And his user type will be Editor. And his language will be UK as well. And again, as I said, the reason for UK and US are the date time formats. So because I was in England, it wrote the time as it did if I changed my language to English and didn't use the date time dot to, uh, what's called to string and then reformatted it, it would pr it would uh, print the date out in a different way. Uh, but we'll just stick with the UK for now. And uh, we'll save. And it says an error. And the error, of course, is section is mandatory. So he needs something to do, this uh, editor. So we'll say, okay, what is an edit editor allowed to do here? Well, the editor is allowed to view some content. He's allowed to view the media, but we don't want him uh, messing about in the settings, in developer, in users, or members, or forms. But perhaps translation. We'd want that, even though I haven't actually used the translation yet. But we might as well leave it there. So yeah, we have all that now. So uh, let's try and log off. I mean, let's press up here and log out. And uh, his name was Tester, and the code was 1234, and we log in. What was it then? Test. What did I call him? This is awkward. Okay, well, let me just log back in again. Really awkward. Users. Username Tester. Um change path one two three four one two three four save maybe I didn't save him before username is tester okay let's try again oh no not edit log out 
just refresh the page for uh, security's sake. One, two, three, four. There we go. And save password. And it says here you could change your password if you wanted to. So I, I have created this user. So of course I say now you can log in, mate. Your password is by the way one two three four. He logs in and uh, he says, okay, my new password will now be one two three four five. Very tricky. Or we'll reset the password if you wanted to. Now here you can see suddenly we only have access to content, media, and translation. So we can't really balls anything up. So and uh, also we only set what he could access. We didn't, but what we did, what we didn't set, which is located in Umbraco itself, is we can that we can't save and publish as far as I know, or maybe editors can. Um, okay, editors can. Let's try and let's try and, and uh, log out a minute. I haven't actually uh, had had a chance to look much at these types since I've not really uh, had a need for them. Let's go back a minute. Users, test tester. Let's say he's a writer. Save and log out. And tester users remembers me. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Log in. There we go. Yep, here we use the save and send for approval, it says, or just save. But we can save, changes have been sent for approval. So, uh, let's say we say home, uh, what's called, on the home page. Let's say we home page, uh, uh, save and send. And you can see, it's here, oh, let me just empty the recycle bin. Don't need any of that. Remember to do that often, actually, because uh, otherwise it still refers to the items inside, and uh, it, that could be very weird. So if we reload the page, you see it still says home page. It hasn't changed because we have not allowed this guy to publish anything on our website because he could potentially do something bad. So here we can go in and see that it's been changed. We can even right click and say audit trail and we can see sent to publish performed by user and the user was test tester and uh, yeah to so be able to click here uh, actually let me just see roll back would even be able to and then select version home pager so we can see what happened here so we'd be able to roll back as well if we wanted to but uh, yeah, these are some of the many functions there are. Rollback, audit trail, culture and host names, and also permissions. So let's just uh, say, okay, we, we agreed to that, and we save it. Now it's been saved. You can even see on the little marker that was there before that it wasn't saved. We reload, and it's changed to pager. So very easy. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'd like to talk a bit about, uh, as you can see here, the uh, permissions and public access and kind of show you what that's all about and also how to perhaps set some user permissions and say, and see what are people allowed to do. For example, like here. So yep, see you there, guys. And uh, again, uh, as I've said in many of my moves uh, already, uh, um, I really hope uh, just at least one person now and there in the world is learning from this. Uh, I had a very rough time learning in Braco because no one was there to teach me, so this video is for all you guys who are sitting out there wanting to learn this but can't find any content that's good, because all of the uh, all the content used to be for Braco 6 or Braco 4 and things have changed since then, there's a lot of new and good code. Um, yeah, so please give me a like. Uh, subscribe, send me a, uh, a comment, tell me how I'm doing, what I could do better, what I could do worse, for the sake of it. Yeah, see you in the next movie, have a good evening, or morning, depending where you are.